Hey there folks and welcome back to the Let's Play for Heavy Rain. We are joined today by Drowning Children. Which is always a good start to any video game. Or every game part, you know what I mean. I think the water's rising. Well, the subtitles actually change location on the screen to reflect the different people are speaking. That's a, that's a nice touch. One very rarely used. Far too few people just rely on... Well, I think a lot of people don't even bother putting names on the subtitles these days, do they? I think there's only Valve who even puts different colours to indicate different people are speaking. Like I say, outside of Let's Playing, to be honest with you, subtitles aren't often that used. At least I find, so anyway. There you go, I don't know many people who would use them. We're getting vastly, vastly off topic. Not that there was a topic to begin with, so actually no, I'm perfectly on topic for once. That's a... Uh, hooray me, really? Run! Run, little boy! You got asthma or something, kid? There's a lot of puffing going on. Yo, dude, your kid's your kid's drowning. Well, I know who's getting father of the year. Well, there's one positive outcome to this little cutscene. We now know that Ethan isn't the worst dad in the world anymore. Awesome. That's something to feel good about for last Ethan. Oh wait, this is a flashback. You'll never know. And that's the twist. Ah, <laughs> oh, cross-eyed and everything. Scotty. What kind of stupid name is Scotty? <gasps> Shelby. God damn! I knew something not right about that guy the moment I saw him. No, seriously, I did. I said, you know, that kind of a fat man. Gotta be hiding something. Probably Doritos. Or murder. Doritos or murder? Murder or Doritos? Doritos or Doritos? Ah, uh, Doritos, please. Very well. The way pass. But yeah, so probably stop doing that. It's a somber moment. It's no time for Eddie's hard parodies. Who am I kidding? There's always time for Eddie's hard parodies. Ah, oh, look at him. Just have a weird white line appear down the side of his face. I think that's supposed to be a tear. Wasn't particularly well done, considering how much time you spent creating water effects for this game. I'm a little surprised the tear was fucked up, but you know, whatever. Wow, that's a bizarrely sinister look from you. Which is actually pretty good, when you come to think of it. It's a whole different type of facial animation, done on essentially the same character model. So yeah. Very well done, actually, Quantic Dream. Well done. Shoebox. Damn Converse All-Star. Ah, right, it's the box of memento goodies we took from that guy. Which, in light of what we just learned, means it wasn't mementos per se, it was evidence. Right, right, okay. As was this, presumably. That was the phone he gave to the dad of that kid. Wow, after all this time you still not dried your- oh, it's a flashback, right, okay. Okay. Wish I hadn't dried her hair still or something. Well, whatever. What other evidence is there left then? Ah, the letter that Lauren kept. Well, this is a double betrayal, isn't it, really, all considered? Assuming, if the, assuming Shelby gets away from all of this, he's essentially going to go and bang the poor chick. I mean, seriously, that's, that's, that's not a fate to be desired in any case. I mean, look at him. He crushed the poor cow. Oh, we're getting all emotional. Things are shaking. Things are shaking. Which I know I'm taking the piss out of, but I still think it's a good idea, actually. Burning whatever that was. Ah, right. Okay, the Paco stuff that details about the the accounts and the houses and the whatever else crap. Okay. The stuff that so was Scott Shelby kicked the crap out of Norman Jaden, super highly trained martial arts FBI guy, versus a fat man in a balaclava. <laughs> oh God. Basically a dude who's impersonating Alec Baldwin after he let himself go. 
and he won the fight. What? That didn't happen. No, I played this. That didn't happen. Game. Well, Quantic Dream, should I say more accurately. Guys, you can't do this. If you're going to actually have me play the section, you cannot then later go back and say, Oh, this happened. No, it didn't. I was there. I was controlling it. That did not happen. That did not happen at any point. Uh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not on board with that one. That was bullshit. Apparently, you stole the old lady's photograph too. It's kind of hot. In fact, why would you even? Why would you come and steal that photograph? How would you know about it? Her care staff know for a fact no one has visited her in you know gone so many years. Why would you suddenly feel compelled to track her down and steal her shit? I mean, covering your tracks and planning to disappear, or no, that's that's a bit of a leap, a bit of a stretch. Plus, you know, you've had to admit to everyone who was there that you were somehow linked to us, and now all of them know about you. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. A couple of bad decisions there, I think. They tried a bit too hard to show him wrapping up all the loose ends, including... Yeah, a bit of shark jumping, really, I think. Damn it, it's locked. It's okay, I can just walk straight in. He's a murderer. Don't have to respect his civil rights. Isn't that right, America? Right, R1, L1. My counterpart, R1, L1. Fuck, fuck, no. Will. Wiggle it, Madison. Wiggle it. Wiggle it good. Yeah, I lost your touch, girl. Why do you know how to break and enter, Madison? Just as a matter of curiosity, you, you understand. Am I going to tell me? No. That's a whole questionable uh, skill set for anyone, let alone a reporter. I mean, it's, so, it's vaguely understandable, but still, that's kind of despicable at the same time. I'm lo Ooh. Stuff to investigate. Generic books, not even got any titles. Well, it's how little faith the publishers had in them. It's like, I'm never going to bother putting a title on this. Save the money. In fact, the pages are blank. Uh, no, I'm going to go this way. So, no, Madison. Round the... Madison. Like, no, Madison. Madison. Fuck's sake, this is difficult to control. I said this is a veteran Resident Evil player, too. Well, I wasn't a survival horror player. I'm used to tank controls and shit. And seriously, this shit is ridiculous. It's like steering a retarded elephant downhill with feet covered in honey. Right. This way. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Yep. So you're telling me I'm basically too late. I can't pull anything out of the fire. Alright, okay, that's fine. Uh anything in the drawer. Uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Yeah, we already fig figured this out as Norman Jaden, love. Uh. Son of a bitch! He's got a secret room back here. I can always say, though, if I open this with Walter Sullivan's back here, like, Hi, guys! I've been in another game! I'm not gonna be impressed. No Walter. No hanging corpse. No spoons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just be happy about that. Just trust me. Right. Typewriter. Perhaps I can save my progress here. Mm, creepy ass poems. He's on Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with rain. Well, that's clearly not a well, it's a drain. Drowning him. Oh, shit, it needs a password. Crap. Uh. John. Bollocks. Uh, Shepherd, maybe? It's his proper last name. Give it a shot. Son of a bitch. Uh, Max? Max, Max, Max! Max, the name John gave to his paper. Yeah, so, okay, I see, that's why you had the old lady go crazy with the, the Max, Max, Max thing. Alright, okay, I understand. An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Eight for, Hurry. Was that There's the one no I sent to Ethan to? I bloody well hope it was. I think it was, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it should be. Putting a lot of faith in the fact that uh, I sent Ethan to the right place. Ah, crap. So you found my little secret. It's over, That's Scott. right. You like to grow flowers, you big puff. Capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. That's probably for the best. If I did, I'd be crazy like you. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Well, if that did let a kid go, that was kind of the point, wasn't it? Get in there. Showing a lot of teeth there, Scuddy boy. Where's your fat man sense of humor? Uh, you know, if you'd actually let me use the controls, please, game. That'd be much appreciated. Hmm. So let's be looking for a hollow spot, right? They all sound exactly the same. Thanks for that game, much appreciated. Can't just smack my way out at all. No? Fine. Do uh, changing the bloody camera angle, that help. Nope, didn't mean to push that. Bollocks. Camera angle, seriously. Ah, oh, there we go. Nope, crap, no, nope, fucking push the goddamn. Uh, give me that! Right, got something heavy. Now, uh, we. Oh, I don't even give a crap. Try every single goddamn one. It'll be quicker. <laughs> yes, less cutscenes of me choking, more of me doing shit. Mm, that wasn't the one. Uh, this one? That was also not. Ooh, it was! That was the one! Brick it! Brick it, Madison! Brick it! Brick it! Break, 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 break it. Not that I really believe she could do that. I mean, look at her. Got the constitution of a broom. But, uh, I suppose you don't really have to put much effort involved. Shoddy American workmanship and all that. Seriously, drywall? What are you fuckers thinking? At least one layer of brick in any decent, you know, decently built wall. That's all I'm saying, guys. I can't go out there, that would be suicide. Kind of funny, but still, suicide. Wow. Hooray for realistic fires, I guess. Uh, one. And R. Oh, well, fuck. That was R2, not L. Really have to scoot all the way back. Try this again, shall we? R2 this time, not R1. Right, and up. Oh, come on, I pushed that. No, oh, crap, my bell bottoms are on fire. I'm burning in an unfashionable way. Okay, where the fuck do I go? Can interact with the chair, but that's not really that helpful. Oh, fuck off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Get a grip, Madison. Right, square. Guess it's gonna be pretty linear. I can only. What? I was tapping L fucking one. Screw you, game. Good, now the chair is on fire properly. Not sure how that helped me, but yeah. God, I hope he didn't like that lamp. Mm. Over this way? Oh, fuck off. Really, this is stupid now. Just let me move already, game. Burn, Maddie, burn. Journalist Inferno. Wait, I wasn't even in the main room? Cool, of course I wasn't. I was in the bathroom and the bedroom. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the problem with the fire and the smoke. I can't actually tell where the... F oh, fuck off already, really? This control scheme is far too finicky for you to have this kind of bullshit. Walking through a fucking guided path. Especially when you can't see the goddamn path. That doesn't help either. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. Well, that's a propane tank, isn't it? Oh, bollocks. Crap, 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 crap. I spotted the square, but far, far too late. Why is it always that same leg that sets on fire, too? <laughs> How does that work? Square, X. R1! Tap R1 to not die! Oh, let's see what I think of your paperwork! Your filing system was crap, Shelby. And now it's on fire. Yeah. Oop, circle. L1, R2. 
two. Don't fuck it up this time. Mm, square. Two freedom. That's probably going to be locked, so I'm not going to waste my time. I mean, seriously, would you set fire to the place without even locking the front door? Especially if you set up a bomb. No fire in here, though. Makes sense that Shelby wouldn't dare torch the kitchen. Uh, no, look over this way, you stupid cow. That's right. Ah, I got an idea. It's time to Indiana Jones up in this bitch. Well, I'll say that, but yeah. That'd be taking something from a movie that never existed. At least there's no gophers involved this time. That's something, anyhow, right? I think I basically get one chance to get that right, or else shit blows up without me. Where'd that one come from? That's not fair! No scene of the fridge coming flying out the window? That's disappointing. Hmm. And I win! I'm not dead! That's gotta be uh, one for the good guys, right? That's right, nobody offered me any help. I am badly burned, covered in soot, coughing my guts out, and just walked out of a blazing inverno, but don't, you know, no worries, no one offered to call me an ambulance or anything, that's fine. Uh, does it even matter? Everybody knows. Fuck it. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy. I push square, not circle. Why did you. Trust. Oh, well, whatever. Everyone knows anyway. Everyone's gonna end up at the right place anyway, so who gives a fuck? As long as Madison goes by herself as well. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Have you got all that? Wait, I know this already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I gotta go. Well, goddamn. I just wasted some of my minutes. You can't get those back, you know. I suppose at least if she's on contract anyway, she probably wasted that much of her talk time. If she was on pay as you go, that's gonna be what? A good three, four pounds of credit wasted on that one call? More if he was on like some 0800 extension number. God damn. No fuck off. No one gives a shit about you and your stupid trophies. Bloody game, man. Do you wanna play the game? Don't give a shit about no trophies. Anyone call a taxi? Taxi for Sean Mars. Try and trick the killer that way. Taxi for Sean Mars. Oh right, I guess I'd better let him out. Oh good. Been a while since we've done this. Press X to Sean. Not quite as push good as push X to Jason, but you know it'll have to do. I've been looking for her long. Long time, Ethan. In a galaxy far, far away? Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Craft balloon animals. Sacrifice with his bare his hands. In order to save his son. <laughs> well, I didn't do that either. Oh, I I'm not drinking no poison either, dickhead. And then... Is it raining inside? Oh, of course it is, because of the filling of the... Yeah, sorry. Pretty sure I would have remembered you if you were in the crowd, mate. You kind of make an impression, if you know what I'm saying. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? What I said. Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victim. Really? Were you kidnapped by a total stranger, locked in a well, and forced to drown? No, no, you were not. All you have to do is open that grate. Which do you suffered a neglectful father and the death of someone close to you? Not the same as being kidnapped by a random weirdo and murdered. And all of a sudden, Norman Jaden! Shit. 
Shake it. Shake it to win. Shake it to win, Ethan. Mm, not gonna work. Need something to Jimmy the Lock. Nope, can't use any of that shit apparently. That's not acceptable. That's not storyline. But this is Excellent. The pipe of justice. This will have to work. Go jam it in there, Ethan. Jam it good. Uh, damn it, not working. Damn. Shit, jump off father. Ah, that's it. And again. Right, okay. We've removed the lock. So now. Come on, Ethan. We gotta save this kid. Daddy powers, activate. Terrific, Dad. You win. You weren't under the water half a second ago. Oh, like shit, did you drown? Like I said, you were only under the water for like, what? 0.5 of a second there? You know, about six frames of animation? Like shit, you've drowned. Now, why the fuck is Shelby so good at hiding for a fat man? Seriously, Jaden, you need to stop taking, you know, all this crack and shit. I mean, if you do felt to notice this guy sneak up on you twice? I mean, goddamn. Not exactly light-footed, is he? Fuck you, Shelby. Fuck you right in the crotch. Nope. Hey, buddy, me, son. Don't know where that face has been. Probably in a Big Mac. And again. Take him, Jordan. That's not taking him. That's being thrown on the ground. Bollocks. Ow. Oh. Well, I wasn't using that cranium. Nope, not again. You're throwing egg carton at me. What is wrong with you? Oh, fuck. Nope. Don't want that lamp. Nope, didn't need to record anything on the DVR. Fuck you, dude. Bollocks. That didn't work. Tap X not to be fucked up. Take not working. It's not working. Like to be armed and dangerous. All personnel are ordered to shoot to kill. I repeat, shoot to kill. Ash, are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. Never Always shoot command. to kill. Perfect. Never shoot to wound or we'll shoot to tickle. We'll gun him down as soon as he or shows shoot to irritate or shoot for fun. Never any of that. Hey, you there? What are you doing? I'm a warehouse inspector. My Need to get in there. Page, Might be faulty piping. What is a journalist doing here? Should've gone with my cover score, in Madison. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Oh, back to Jaden. Almost didn't make that button push. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you using that kneecap? Here, let me apologize. Fucking... Ow. Ow. This isn't going well. And again. That's a bit more like it, Jaden. See where those years go into training. And again. Fuck him up, Jaden. Fuck him up. And again. No, don't get in close. Seriously, he's got like 100 pounds on you. You can't wrestle the fucker. Stop trying. Just smack him in the face with a pipe. Don't help me, son, please. Breathe. This is a bit of a jarring change of pace, you know. Going from brutal fighting and abruptly cutting to trying to save the life of a small child kind of losing the high impact emotional resonance you're going for. If it was in a film, it'd probably work. But it's more the fact that, since I'm controlling it, I'm abruptly jumping from one rather narrow mindset to another, and it's not quite working. Don't leave me. Please. Sean, don't. Don't leave me. Well, fuck, Ethan. You're making it very hard to be funny right now, <laughs> weeping over the body of your potentially dead child as you are. It's very inconsiderate of you. <laughs> you don't have to put time and effort into this and... Ah. Make my job just that much more difficult. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He lives. 
He lives in you. Him the way. Oh. Oh. I thought you were gone. Oh, dad. Yeah. I Ethan Mars. Terrific dad. Oh. Extra points. Save my son bonus. Mars didn't do it for Christ. Crazy CPR. Fuck you. Hey, what are you doing? I'm being a goddamn hero. Oh, heroin. Whatever. Nope, fuck. Nope. This way. Crap. Damn it. Can't seem to drive the motorcycle anymore. Not quite sure what the crap is going on. Clearly not working. Shouldn't have done this. In the rain. No control. Crap. Run, Madison, run! It's the only way. Madison? What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. Yeah. So the tension's back again. I'll talk to them. That's a bad idea. Dead before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together. With our hands in the air and... Yeah, we use the kid as a shield. It's a brilliant plan, Madison. Mother. Well I have the evidence that proves your innocence, Ethan. Rock and roll. <laughs> oh god, the kid just lying on the floor. I'm sorry. Uh... I was only thinking about. We did check that he's actually alive, right? It wasn't like a reflex action. <laughs> oh god, I don't know if that was supposed to be funny, but somehow it was. <laughs> No, to get cocky just because you got a couple of decent dad awards there, Ethan. Did you try to hit me with a sledgehammer? The fuck is your problem? All oh, right, child murderer. Never mind. Silly question. Shouldn't have answered it. Ah, nothing on the tube. In the face. Fall, fall, you cunt. Save me. Hmm, should I save the child murderer? Uh, no. Seriously, I'm all for evil, but you're just a douche. Should have seen a shrink. Now, you're about to be cut down to size. Perhaps the daily grind got to him. See what I say? Use the kid as a human shield. Well done, Ethan. You do listen to me every now and again. You should know when I'm controlling you, but sometimes. Now, don't you make any sudden movements. We're just going to get into this here taxi and ride away. No one needs to get shot today. Not in the face, not anywhere else. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Just go away, leave me alone. Oh, you bastard. I don't even care. I don't care. Fuck off. Alive more than four days after his disappearance, Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. Wasn't that a mistake? His great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Out damn time. 48 is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Which is also rather a flimsy plot device. I mean, surely someone would have checked. Or at least reported report they've been contacted by a private eye. Bit of a dodgy game to play. Wow. Oh, is this where you piss me off by hiring? Was well, this going to be your garage, is it, Ethan? Let's just say a friend of you a friend let you. me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. 
A friend of a friend? You mean you shot... But it wasn't the place of the man you shot in the face. Or one of. Quite probably. It's a huge open space and then a hey, tiny yes. weenie kitchen. I think I found my room. Yeah, it's a closet. Not that good of a dad after all. Not yet. Perfect, Ethan. You're wearing like no bra, Madison. Not I'm complaining, but we'll be able to really? forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the kids can have issues about this. You know, you playing substitute mommy and all. In fact, I wonder if I have to play that game. Madison and whatever the fuck her name was, just bitching at each other. Wouldn't that be fun? Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings. Well, known as the please, you're, you're making me blush. I, you know, I did. I did what I had to do. And I'm, uh, I'm a goddamn hero. Norman, Norman. Norman! Fuck you, Norman. Stupid name. I was the one to do it all. I was the puppet master. Why am I not getting any accolades? Really, you're hiding in the disabled loos? That's kind of low even for you, Jaden. Ah, good. More drugs. You can take the blue pill and see just how far the rabbit hole goes. No. Drugs are for alligators. Sewer gators, to be specific. Things are all high on crack. And now we know why. Right, cool. So I presume I got that for detoxing him. Yeah, nice. Doo -ba -doo. This is a very boring room. Now oh, that explains it. It's your room. Of course it's boring. You can't see it, of course, but he's actually looking at a playboy. Porn is very interactive in the Ari world. I got a tiny tank! Jaden's only weakness, a tiny tank. That's the music you usually get when you're tripping balls. Are you tripping balls again, Jaden? Why are you tripping balls? You shouldn't be tripping balls anymore. But you are. Really? Because I let him take the drugs once in the game, I get the tripping balls ending? Just if he dies at the end of the cutscene, I'm not going to be impressed, guys. Well, whatever. Come here, the noise the tanks were making was pretty goddamn creepy. Like if you guys went for, you know, straight to pirate design, you could do something pretty amazing. That's the graveyard where What's-His-Face was buried. John. Hey, Lauren. How's it going? You killed my son. Oh, Scott. right. Awkward! Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? Were you getting a raging boner when you thought about drowning him? Were you, Scott? Were you? I don't know why you did all this. Because he's a crazy man. A deeply damaged crazy man. Nothing can justify it anyway. No, no justification. Explanation, yes, but justification, no. Nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. I don't think he can hear you, love. Unless you've got like a tube and a shovel. And even then, it's iffy. Yeah, like Shelby could be buried in a grave, that's more. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I want to see them again. What the fuck? 
Ah, right, it's like, ah, it's the, <laughs> this is the, uh, the ending credits. Alright, okay. You can't even do the ending credits like normal people, can you, Quantic Dream? It's like a best of highlight realist. Well, that's fine. Whatever works for you, I guess. And conversely, whatever works for me after a fashion. I think this is basically just a highlight of my playthrough, isn't it? Or not, because I didn't get to do that. I wanted to do something like that, but I didn't get the chance. I actually had to talk the guy down, but I'm just smashing him over the head of a bottle. Not whatever works then, I guess. Pretty much exemplifies Jaden's entire contribution, really. Standing there, watching shit happen around him. Before Ethan learned to emote properly. This was afterwards. When he really got the message. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think they've removed the uh, context cue buttons as well, for the sake of this little montage. You need a montage to show the passage of time. So you just how far you have come. You need a montage. Montage! Oh, you need a montage! what's going on here. So, what do we think of the game overall, anyway, before I get totally sidetracked? Overall, pretty damn unique, pretty interesting, uh, a couple of problems, mainly the control scheme that really got on my tits. Shouldn't have had to push a button to move, and the movement shouldn't have been that awkward, really, in my opinion. But overall, pretty damn good game. So yeah, definitely worth a buy if you get a chance. And it has taught me one important life lesson. If in doubt, push X to Jason! Next time, folks.